that schizophrenic lifting content. Every time you go in the gym, every fucking speck of sweat, every speck of blood, every speck of fucking mental integrity, every single time that you come in here, you give 110%. If you're not giving 110% and you're only giving it 99, you got one more to give. If you're giving it 100%, you're not at your fucking limit because nobody tells you how much you can put in and how much you can. So you put in 110% so every fucking person watching can undoubtedly see you and your fucking truth and how fucking hard you work. Nobody fucking tells you how hard you can fucking go. Nobody tells you if you're gonna win or not. The only fucking person who makes those decisions are just you. The only fucking person. They never say you never can't fucking do something. You listen to others, they'll be half the fucking man you'll ever want to be. You can't drive to the gym, you'll take the bus to the gym. You can't take the bus to the gym, you'll bike to the gym. You can't bike to the gym, you walk to the gym. You can't walk to the gym, you crawl to the fucking gym. too many fucking times and I know that because of how fucking hard you work the hardest fucking workers have been through the hardest shit you've been through a fucking lot and I can see that because you're my boy and the reason that you're fucking great and the reason that you're here right now is because all that shit if you want to take any of that back what do you whatever that shit filled me that shit filled me I came from a fucking mud to say shit I am the mud fucking go Let's do the fucking pain. Let's do the fucking pain. More pain, more growth. More pain, more growth.
I will knock you on your ass. Come on, come on, get your head on your shoulders, man. Think about the fight, think about the fight. Damn, Ron, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I'm feeling like Venom, like fucking Venom, staring at my fucking prey. I want to eat everybody in this fucking gym. Like, you only get pumps like this once in a fucking lifetime, bro. That's what it feels like. It'll never come back. It'll never be there. That's how the pump feels. It feels like you'll never feel this good again. Yeah! Yeah! I want this shit! I want this shit! This is where you gotta push past your fucking limits. You don't know what's beyond this boundary. But you do it anyway! No one shall defy me! The best way to overcome body dysmorphia is to refuse to believe anything exists. Set. If you can pick it up, it's lightweight, baby. Go do the shit that's necessary. If you don't do the shit that's necessary, how can you expect to get to where you want to be? We in here working every night!
don't want to be comfy. If you're comfy right now in your life and you're okay with everything that's happening and you're not fucking 70 years old, then you should not be fucking comfy. So, you go in there, full force. You don't even have that mindset that you're not gonna hit it. You go in there, and you're like, fuck you, you're my bitch. And you pick that shit up. He just got me into that mindset. Stop being a fucking little pussy, aesthetic bullshit, and fucking eat and become a fucking machine. He said, don't bench press. You know what I say to that? Fuck you, man. Chase that strength, chase that, that physique, have a mental image of what you want and go reach and grab that shit. But if you're gonna come in here and you're gonna hit the same amount of reps, the same weight, then you're gonna, you're gonna stay at the same place. Motherfucker, the they would've stopped. The hit six plate deadlift, they would've called the fucking workout. That was two hours ago. We in here working every day. Chasing a fucking goal, a fucking dream. As a man, you have to. You gotta go in that bitch and feel like the man. Like, if you feel like a little pussy, you're not full of shit. You gotta be prepped for that shit. You gotta get primed. You gotta stop listening to other people's perspective, because that's all it is, bro. It's just their perspective. Don't let them tell you who the fuck you are. The motherfucker's always trying to tell me who I am. You do not know me, bro. Like, trust me. I'm a damn tired of that, man.
with anything you got going on in life. You gotta have confidence. That's what the gym builds. I'm just thinking about, you know, one day, you won't be able to do this again. So enjoy it while you can, man. Don't, don't have any fucking regrets. Go for that PR. Push that fucking weight off your chest. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on! If you're not doing everything in your fucking power to get that last fucking rep up, then what the fuck are you doing? When I walk up to that fucking weight, I already know what I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna have my fucking way with this weight. It's mine. I own it. I'm gonna live it like it's my fucking last. I'm sick of this shit. Taking everything for granted. Taking this life. This fucking opportunity, I'm not taking shit for granted no more! my fucking bitch you think you're done you think you're finished and you keep going you don't care about the form you keep going if you can't train in unoptimal conditions how do you expect to be great not every day is sunshine and fucking rainbows man come on come on So, you go in there, full force. You don't even have that mindset that you're not gonna hit it. You go in there, and you're like, fuck you, you're my bitch. And you pick that shit up. He just got me into that mindset. Stop being a fucking little pussy, aesthetic bullshit, and fucking eat and become a fucking machine. He said, don't bench press. You know what I say to that? Fuck you, man. Chase that strength, chase that, that physique, have a mental image of what you want and go reach and grab that shit. But if you're gonna come in here and you're gonna hit the same amount of reps, the same weight, then you're gonna, you're gonna stay at the same place. Motherfucker, like they would've stopped. They hit six plate deadlift, they would've called the fucking workout. That was two hours ago. We in here working every day.